This is a step-by-step -step guide to apply for a co-op work permit. I've made it really easy by clicking snapshots and showing you by arrows and guides by uh, recording as well that which steps you should follow to apply for co-op. Uh, if you open up this video alongside and you open up your window where you will be using online method to apply for co-op, it will be way too easier for you to apply for it. So continue. A brief introduction that what you should be doing is you'll have to set up a GC account and then uh, for the application you'll have to attach the following documents completed IMM 5710 co-op letter from college you'll get this letter from college um, or institute where you're studying copy of passport and photo um, these steps of attaching the documents will also be shown when you are uh, completely evaluated other steps or have answered the questions um, on your account it will show up as well but still you are definitely going to uh, need these documents and here are some tips to avoid any mistake uh, internet explorer is always the best for downloading some documents which you will definitely need this uh, like for IMM 5710 form uh, you will have to download it, fill it up, and then upload it back in your account. So it's better if you use Internet Explorer. Uh, whenever you make an account with your username and password, if it's a different kind of username or whatever it is, you just need to note it down either. Uh, you type it on the screen and click a picture of the screen with your phone or um, write it down in a book so that in case you forget you have a record of it that where you have put it so that makes it way too easier and yeah uh, what I prefer is clicking picture of whatever I submit online because that's the best convenient way that saves a lot of time to begin with type www.cic.gc.ca on Google and and now in following few slides I have um, put some arrows that you just need to follow those arrows click on the links in front of those arrows click on my application click on create an account or sign in option given there click on continue to GC key because from there you can make your account here you'll see two options sign in or sign up if you already have an account sign in by using your username and password if you don't Make a new account by clicking on the sign up option. For username, be very, very careful. Uh, so your username should be easy for you to remember and hard for others to guess. Don't use your own name, your SIN mailing address or email address it should be a random name for example here i'm writing mickey775 that's not my name that's just a random name you can pick any other name but not your name so and you must click a picture of this whenever you type it or um you may uh, save it you can write it or click a picture so that you might remember it After you create your username, you have to create your password and for that um, you can see the checklist down there. 8 to 16 characters does not contain 3 consecutive characters from username, valid characters, lowercase letter, uppercase letter, digits, and password match. So as soon as you'll start typing, you'll see that um, some tick marks or some crosses if there is something wrong. Just keep checking it and you'll set your password easily and then click on continue. So in this um, page, you will select the question first, a recovery question, then answer it. Uh, the options will be provided for the question here, but not for the rest of the options. It's, and just select the question and answer it. Then type the name of your memorable person, hint for it, then your memorable date, uh, do take care of the format as it says you should type 
four digits of the year first, then two digits for month, and two digits for the day, then your memorable date hint. So uh, fill, it, fill it out, take a picture, and click on continue. You may click on English or Francais, uh, whatever your choice is, to continue. Now here you need to enter your proper given name, last name, email address, and preferred language of notification. So here um, you will put the actual name you have on your passport or your document and your valid email address, uh, not as uh, you have made for the GC key. But here for this account, you will give your proper name, your last name, and email address, the valid email address. Now here you will um, make the questions by yourself and answer them. Make sure again you click a picture of it after you type the questions and answers for your record and you might not forget them. Um, for example, you can put a question, what's your favorite color, etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's all your choice. You can make your questions and answers. When you have set up your security questions, and continue then you'll see this page where you will put up your email address preferred language of notification whatever you want it to be and then do click here tick mark this box that i would like to receive monthly updates about my application after that uh, go to the options below that are say what would you like to do today so here you'll click visitor visa study and or work permit click on this option because you want to apply for co-op work permit after answering all the questions um, you will come up with these results that will give you different options that what you can apply for so now you see this option of co-op in Canada where you want to be. So click on continue. After reviewing all your answers and clicking on continue, you'll see these steps. And these steps are about how you will use your account, how you'll save your application, and how you will upload your documents. Do go through all these steps because they will make it way too easy for you to submit your application. So it's only 60% um, or I should say actually 50% of the work that's done till here. After that, uh, you'll see the document name that you have to provide and the, in the bracket it's written that required. So the first document is IMM 5710 form. You can get this form if you click on this link on this document if you'll click a new window will open in internet explorer and you can download the form from there fill it up and this is the form that takes more time that sometimes you forget that after filling it up you have to upload it here so yes fill this form carefully with all the important dates and uh, if you have any queries about it there is um, an icon showing instructions if you place your cursor upon it it will show you the instructions for it fill it up and upload the other documents you require are co-op letter passport copy digital copy and then digital photo so these also have um, 
the instructions along with them if you place your cursor upon the uh, circle with the embedded eye on it it will show you the instructions that what are the specifications for the photograph or the document you're providing and upload these files and when you upload these files uh, below you'll see the option of submit click on submit and your application is done so you'll receive an email that will clearly tell you that your application has been submitted and you will keep getting updates so whenever you have to log in you know how to log in with the gc key that's how you keep checking the status of this and if at all you have to pause this thing again you'll have to only um for example you filled imm form and then uh on next day you want to open it you log in through gc key and um, just click on the uh, ongoing application and then you can upload the document here so that's as simple as it is um, thank you so much that's pretty much it